Well, I have an idea for a TV movie. The first scene opens on a quiet, sleepy, peaceful Sunday morning in Japan. Japan? And when suddenly we see this squadron of low-flying planes heading for a Toyota factory. <laughs> yes? You don't like it. This is 96 well, well, WHYT. You mean that's it? That's the whole movie? No, that's the opening of it. Oh. That's the beginning of it. I guess I, I wouldn't didn't want to go any farther <laughs> putting everybody to sleep. Oh, damn. There, there is no truth to the rumor that uh, for the new joint effort Toyota GM car, that before you step into it, you have to take your shoes off. There isn't. Are we keeping you awake, Jim? Uh, I hope so. We got to do this. Yeah. Uh, Marilee, got an extra hour of sleep. I don't I know. I was having this terrible that. dream. It was like uh, the squadron of planes were attacking a, a small Japanese uh, city. Uh, that was no. a dance, right? Really? Or hair will catch on fire. Break some other. stuff in the studio. Great day for a Friday the 13th. For, oh, geez, rainy, cloudy. The rest of the weekend looks to be uh, leftovers of that same recipe. Hi today, upper 50s. Good morning at uh, 7.56 exactly. I'm Jim Shenavy, WHYT News and Information. City temperature 49. NASA has had a lot of successes in this most recent flight of the space shuttle Challenger. They repaired a satellite while it was still in orbit, 300 miles above the Earth's surface. Thank you, John. A great series. Coming up next, it may be Friday the 13th, but it was a lucky number 7 for the Detroit Tigers last night. And we'll have that complete WHYT Detroit weather forecast. It's 8 o'clock. When you're not dressed by the WHYT Detroit weather forecast. Cloudy skies for us today. We'll have those scattered showers around, a high of the upper 50s. Occasional rain mixed with the cloudy skies overnight tonight, low to 42. It'll be cloudy Saturday, probably Sunday, with rain on and off both days. We're looking for a high tomorrow to about 53 degrees. Currently, 802, 49 degrees downtown. I'm Jim Shenafee, WHYT News and Information, and now those disgusting creatures themselves, Harv Merrily and Joey, too. Joey, shh, don't, don't say Joey's name. Why? He's indisposed of right now. What do you mean he's indisposed well, of? Do you want me to, yeah, he's not in here. But he's in the bathroom. Yeah. What's he doing in there? Well, something well, disgusting? Wait, there he is. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. He's back from doing whatever disgusting thing he was doing. The emperor has returned from the throne. <laughs> oh, the calling the emperor so to speak. Now, huh? yeah. Oh, I see. You've returned from the throne. You've been promoted from prince to emperor. Prince of the city is what I am. <laughs> well, good morning. I didn't know that you were going to go into me. Yeah. I didn't know you oh. were into me at all. What? Is what it is. Um, uh, all right, Harv, you know what? <laughs> Harv, you might get out of that room. <laughs> Listen, we got the, we got, <laughs> we got this madman who has uh, been harassing me in the hall, and he's a big bruiser who works for the building because somebody is parked bruiser? in the handicap zone. Bruiser? Somebody, Jim. And, and it's not me. me. I parked in the same not, spot. Somebody is parked in the handicap zone and is getting us in trouble here. Because no, I wouldn't he, do that. He said it's somebody who's on the air on FM on WHYT in the morning. We're the FM, which means free money. That's us. And uh, it, this. Listen, or, somebody or here does also mean frequently misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody is lying. Now, is, let me let me look in your eyes. Jim, are you parked in the handicap zone? No. Okay. <laughs> Harv, are you parked in the handicap zone? No. Mary Lee, are you parked in the handicap zone? Uh uh-uh. uh. Then it must be me. Must be. <laughs> That's what I you know get. it's short, but it's the only one I got. Mary Lee Dan, she's wearing Michael Jackson socks at 96 WHYT. How, how are they doing now? I still can't get that, that moonwalk. Well, you got to move I your high heels on, that's why. The no. socks are all right. Maybe you need his underwear is what you need. Then you'll really move. Oh, Michael. <laughs> Oh, my God. All right, it's 50 degrees now, and sun is shining, and we, we've been telling for the last two hours, we've been saying cloudy and spotty showers. Welcome to the Liars Club. <laughs> no, I, didn't, I don't make this stuff up, you know, I just, I just do what I'm told. Meteor, tell the meteorologists truth. tell us that it was going to be foggy, which we, we saw, and it, and it is, uh, but it's not as foggy as it was, and they did not tell, I said it was going to burn off a little earlier, and I was corrected, right. but it did burn off, and now we're, we're getting some sunshine. It's eight minutes after eight o'clock, 96 WHYT, the station that's got all the hits all the time by all means. If you've got a joke, we're going to have a joke off. So you can call us now and blow someone up. Oh, that'll make
like you go Radio Goo Goo and Gaga. All the girls love Rick Springfield, of course. He started out as a soap opera star. Actually, he started out as a singer in Australia, and he moved over here because he's a, a Britisher, and he started to make some hit records. He had one hit record, and he went into a soap opera series, and, which has been highly successful for the General last couple Hospital. of years. General Hospital. Now, uh, of course, he's a movie star. This is the latest thing that's happening with him, and he'll be a big movie star because he's a very nice person, too. I had um, an interview with him when I had a satellite show a couple of years ago. It was on the air here in Detroit, as a matter of fact. Did he talk... Talk Australian? How do you talk Australian? Oh, do he's just a very, very nice person. He has, a, he kind has of, an Australian accent, yes. but he, but he, he doesn't it use it. The kind of guy you're very happy to uh, to see make it. He's one of those people. Really? And so is Casey Kasem. And so is Dick Clark. We're going to talk to Dick Clark this morning a little later on. And Casey Kasem, uh, we'll be speaking to later on tape because he's in bed getting his beauty rest in that it's 517 in L.A. right now. Or rather, uh, uh, 512. It is 812 at 96 WHYT. And some of the names for the shows that have come up this morning for our show. We're going to get, we're finishing that off today. This is the last day we're going to take names for our show, so we will choose a winner after today. But the names that are in top contention are Men at Work and a Woman Too. What do you mean, what? and a woman too? <laughs> oh, yeah, and a woman too. Yeah, the the Morning Sickness, uh, Boy Joey and the Morning After, <laughs> the Rocky Horror Radio Show. Oh, I like that one. Motor City Maniacs, the, mm -hmm. the Uncultured Club, ah! Morning Mayhem, the Morning... Hello, Harv, are you with us? I'm here. I'm He's coloring his nails. The Morning Warning, WHYT, the Y team. <laughs> it's <some> rouge. <laughs> Put on 96. Do you like that one? Uh, no. Motown Friday. No. How about Against All Odds? That's a possibility. <laughs> Phil Collins let us borrow it for a while. If this show makes it, it'll be against all odds. <laughs> Southbound Southfield Service Drive, we have a disabled car blocking the right lane south of 8 Mile. On northbound Southfield Service Drive at Grand River, we have a disabled van in the right center lane. Traffic signals are still out on the southbound Southfield Service Drive at Hubbard. Police are directing traffic in that area. We have stop-and-go traffic on southbound Northwestern Highway. It's still pretty foggy in the northern suburbs. Speeds are down to around 20 miles per hour. Hour. Westbound Ford right now speeds down to around 30 miles an hour. In some areas, it's stop and go in other areas, especially between Chalmers and the Chrysler. And then also westbound I-94 at Chrysler I-75. We have a stalled truck blocking the right lane. And that's the way the roads look at 814. I'll be back in about 15 minutes with an update. I'm Mary Lee Bartolucci, WHYT RE Traffic. The fella comes in on Monday to push her button, too. The guy who called in yesterday and spelled her name correctly from Gross Point. Bruce, you'll be here on Monday to help push her button for the blah punk Ari systems, and we have the horoscopes coming up in just a minute on 96 WHYT. I compared. Mission accomplished. Let's be mature about this. It's not who wins or loses, it's how you play the game. You were out. Kodak, because time goes by. We got Michael Jackson's socks. We're going to give those away too at 96 WHYT. Well, you know what this is, don't you? Name this record. We'll give you Michael Jackson socks. Oh, no, I shouldn't do it. I can't make it that He's easy. Only I take, kidding. I take it back. Take it back. Michael, 96 WHYT. Mary Lee did not believe they were Michael Jackson's socks until she put them on and she started dancing. Now she can't stop. She's been dancing all over the place. So they really are, but we'll give them away. We don't know how yet. And we got a call from a lady a couple minutes ago who wanted to complain about the telephone company and blow them up. So uh, she says because of the rate hikes that went into effect yesterday, or they voted on yesterday, rather. If there's anything that you want to blow up, this is the time to do it. We'll leave the blow-up line open for about a minute and a half at 298-6600. we got a lot of things going on this morning. We've got horoscopes, and we got also, uh, we haven't heard from the mayor. Well, actually, we don't hear from him. We call him. We wake him up. So we'll call him in just a couple of minutes. Everywhere we go, there's a... Oh, during the Super Style Sale at all Leatherloft locations. Hey, Paul, I bet you could really enjoy the great outdoors in this one, huh? Okay, Banana Head, save 20 to 50% at Leatherloft Super Style, Super, Super Style Sale. <laughs> now going on at Eastland, Universal, Northland, Southland, Arborland, Westland Mall. Celebrity, right celebrity voices are right. impersonated. Can you believe that? Two days in a row. He's got it right. Come on, you guys. What's my sign? Your sign? I don't know. When were you born? <laughs> sort of crossed over is my sign. <laughs> Handicapped today. <laughs> I don't That's have where my car is. still crippled. Yeah. All right. 
We're going to do the horoscopes right now. All right, listen carefully. For today's date, Friday the 13th. Starting with Aries. Stay away from a sulking partner because you need someone who will inspire you. Taurus, a very unwilling landlord, will suddenly give you into... <laughs> no. Oh, give, give in to you <laughs> and lend you support. See, that's why I can't read. No, no, no. Come on. A casual remark. This is for Gemini. A casual remark should really be taken seriously because the person who makes it is serious. <laughs> Moonchild, a tantalizing invitation is just a rich plum that you will never get to eat. I'm not going to touch that one. No, neither. Leo, you have lots of financial clout that you didn't know about. Use it wisely. Virgo, a laid-back approach to a business deal will help solve a crisis. Libra, mounting tension will mean a victory in the end for you. Hmm, Scorpio, this is mine. Mm. Mine too. Ah, get out of a relationship that will go nowhere for you or oh. the other person. Oh, great. Uh -oh. <laughs> Sagittarius, the morning show. a love triangle will make you feel needed, but in the long run, it will waste your time. Capricorn, a surprise check will make you feel confident about a recent decision. Aquarius, try to meet a deadline that you have made. And and Pisces, turn down an invitation that in the long run will cost you money. Ooh. These official horoscopes are from the Spex Howard School. <laughs> Flame throwing hot hits, W H Y T. That's Thompson Twins on 96 WHYT. Sounds a little bit draggy sometimes. And the record, if you're getting up on the wrong side of the bed, that one really drags you. It goes, because I woke up to that this morning. 51 is our temperature. going to be a beautiful day today. What did you predict. say? You're in drag? No, no. I didn't say that. But speaking of that, I, wanted you, I want you to know that the perfect outfit and the well-dressed person going to school or work today will be wearing the uh, Boy George pigtails, Michael Jackson's glove or socks, Catherine Hepburn sunglasses and Mick Jagger's pajama tops. Now that's that's really what's what we've done to our culture. No pants. Uh, we've no. been quite an influence, haven't we? <laughs> I'm not going to be wearing any pants. And don't get your mouth full of rain. Oh. All right, Mary Lee, what are we doing with you this morning? Um, nothing. Uh, We're doing stuff with Jim, though. Hey, oh, you know? I was just wondering. I thought I, you're standing me. there with bated breath, and, and you can't sit still now that you have Michael Jackson's socks on. That's right. I'm What waiting. does bated breath mean? Does it smell it like means worms <laughs> or something? <laughs> <laughs> Rolling right along. Cloudy skies, rain for us all day today, on and off. High near 60, but we can expect more clouds and rain, and unfortunately, low 50s for the rest of the weekend. Good morning. At 829. I'm Jim Shenaby, WHYT News and Information. City temperature 49. The high to 53. Currently 832, 50 degrees downtown. I'm Jim Shenaby, WHYT News and Information. And now those fools in the other room. It's Joey Reynolds and Company. You're on. Hey, I know. Stop pointing. Here's Breakdance by Irene Cara on 96 WHYT. That's all you're going to say? Well, sure. That's all I you got to say. catch you off guard? When you are a jock, you don't have to say much because your music does your talking for you. Is that why you're always wearing uh, all those suits? Those I'm jogging wearing, suits? I'm wearing these wear? suits because they were given to me by record promotion people years ago. Five or six. Oh, I see. Notice the wide ties and the wide lapels? Yeah. Are you still dancing? I think she's broken something. Yeah. 96. The left lane will be closed for repairs all day. And that's the way the roads end up looking at 837. I'm Mary Lee Bartolucci, WHYT RE Traffic. 298-6600 is our phone number. We want to blow something up this morning. If there's something that's bothering you, you get on the horn. 298-6600. And if something that's boiling your butt, you get on the phone, you tell us what it is, and we'll get rid of it for you. Well, we'll try anyway with our big nuclear physic. Ever had a boil on your butt? <laughs> Not in my coat. What do we do? Yeah, we're the first better in auto parts. B A B A B A. Ninety-six W H Y T.
Everybody's got a countdown, but there's only one that really counts. It's American Top 40 with Casey Kasem, and Casey's only on 96 WHYT. Here's a sneak preview of this week's show. Hi, this is Casey Kasem. This week's countdown contains four songs, all from the same movie soundtrack. That's only happened once before when John Travolta knocked him dead at the Odyssey Disco. The countdown can be heard Sunday morning from 9 until 1, and again Sunday night starting at 7 on 96 WHYT. Oh, don't forget, Steve Kelly tonight is going to count him down with the top nine tonight. He does this every night between 6 and 9 o'clock, then at 9 o'clock he plays them back for you in that order. We're getting all kinds of suggestions this morning on the last day at 96 WHYT, the last day to name our show, that is. And what you've got to do is call us this morning at 298-6600. Uh, we already have our blow-ups, so thank you for those. <laughs> we got all our people on hold who want to blow up all kinds of things this morning. And especially kids call. They want to blow up the schools and the teacher. And people want to blow up their jobs. Everybody wants to blow those things up. But in Detroit, we should be very fussy about blowing up jobs. We should not be so, we should not be so quick to blow up our jobs. Let me do it. Uh, I'm going to blow up my own job here just by being on the air. That's all I White Castle has the taste some people. I'm driving all over Sounds town. Like us. Check newspapers for sometimes. Time to blow up something and uh, go it's to the phone. It's time to blow up something and go to the phone. <laughs> yeah, I gave the name for your show. What? WHYT's Rambunctious Rascals. Thank you. What's your name? Mama Miller. Where are you from? Detroit. Is there anything you want to blow up? <laughs> Yeah, my job is too big. Too big. What's too big? What do you mean? You can't handle it? Yeah, it's too much work. Thank you. What's your job? Your husband? No. I work for the Board of Education. Oh. Oh. (laughs) Yeah, I am Board of Education myself. (laughs) What do you do over there? I'm a keep on top reader. Uh, what do you what do you want to blow up the whole the whole board of education? Yeah, <laughs> you make a lot of kids happy. I know. <laughs> Can you name one kid who really wants to learn? Uh, oh, wait a minute. Let's have a minute of prayer about it. Uh, ooh, <laughs> All right, you want to blow it up? Yeah. You want to hold on to this big plunger here, and this gets rid of the whole. You're not at work now, are you? Yes, I am. Well, the system will go, and you'll go with it. <laughs> this is truly bureaucracy. Hold on to the plunger now, and count down: five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five. Tomorrow, WHYT was going to surprise you with an 80-year-old lady and her 40-year-old son doing the morning show. (laughs) But my mom couldn't make it, so (laughs) I gotta go to the bathroom. Hurry up, will you, DeBarge? I have some problems. Tomorrow, see Perry for details. Cozy weather. Well, for tonight, there's a chance of a thunder shower. The expected low 60. It's still cool for tomorrow for my first day of vacation. Ha <laughs> ha. Partly sunny, the high 81. Currently 68 degrees. 95.5. I need it. Cozy air.